So, is this rust, or is this not rust? Depends on how you define rust. A kind of ruddy substance that dissolves in flow? Then it's not rust. It has the same components, but no matter how much flow I throw at it, it won't budge. On the contrary, flow seems to evaporate when they come into contact. Evaporate? Yeah, I don't know if that's the right word. It's absorbed, consumed? I, I mean it disappears. Oh yeah, then it's like hyper rust. Hyper rust. If you will. So, to summarize, hyper rust dissolves flow, which dissolves rust. Maybe rust dissolves hyper rust. That would be like rock, paper, scissors. No, no, rust and hyper rust, as you call it, have no effect upon one another. Too bad. I really like rock, paper, scissors. I win every time. <laughs> I know. And I still don't understand how you do it. It's statistically impossible. If you think rock, paper, scissors has to do with statistics, you have really missed the point of rock, paper, scissors. One day I will uncover this mystery. All in due time. First, hyper rust. Then rock, paper, scissors. Okay, where is... Oh, is this the micro thing? Yeah, there's plants in there now. Ew. Don't need more of this. I do need that though. Alright. <gasps> drink, 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 drink. why we climbed up here because we're allowed to do absolutely anything we want okay but wouldn't we be a lot better down there in the grass this really isn't very comfortable well you go down then you're free to go yeah but it sucks down there you're not there well make up your mind then <sighs> think about it we would probably get arrested on top just for doing this. You know, what's it called? Indecent exposure. Not untruth. Really? Nope. As long as there's no deliberate intent to provoke. And how do you determine whether or not there's a deliberate intent to provoke? Hmm, that is the question. <laughs> anyway. We get arrested on truth just for being together. So, I have no idea how anyone can live like that with all of those <sighs> restrictions. Don't love each other. Don't walk around naked. Don't drive over 800 lum an hour. You're confusing things. You can't just project every law. Wanna bet? One needs laws as a foundation for a society. If only to protect the weak against the stronger. <laughs> As if that's what laws are for. Uh, that's what they should be for. I'm just saying, there should only be one law. Don't be a boron. Define boron. Define, define. <laughs> no, but seriously, everyone knows She got him on that one, I guess. Is that your conclusion, after observing the apiary? <sighs> Alright, sure. But in the apiary, people aren't free to do what they want. And that's why it makes them frustrated, angry, self-centered. But if everyone in the world were as free as we are, as happy as we are, don't you think the world would be a better place? I think my back hurts. Don't you want to go back on the grass? Ugh, you have a real issue with freedom. Literally 1984. Hell yeah. Oh. 
Um, I want to go down there. I didn't cook anything for the burble though. Burble! I'm gonna make you apple dues. All done. Oh. The greenhouse is open for business. I've already planted nice. a couple of things. We can add more as we find them. As long as we don't plant any apple dews. I don't think we'd be able to anyway. Fruits need a lot more space than this. But we can definitely try with pretty much any medicinal plant. Oh shit. Really? Value? Welcome to your new home, my little plant. I hope you will be able to prosper and live in good health because your health is our wealth. We need to wait for it to grow. Hell yeah, it has all the medicinal plants in there, bro. It's a bit late to start cooking food. Okay. Oh. Fine, fine. You wouldn't see. Oh god, the stuffed animals on the shelf. Okay. Do you mind if we switch sides? Hmm. Why? I don't know. I just feel like a change. Is this a trick? Uh, okay, yes. My side is all sticky because of you, and it's kind of nasty. <laughs> because of me? <laughs> Do I need to remind you how the scene unfolded? No one cares who started it. What matters is who finished. You did. On my side of the bed. So we're switching. Okay. Really? I didn't expect you to give in so easily. Oh, your side is sticky too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they switched back. Yeah, there's the stuffed Let's animal. Give me a random page number. Uh, 24. Mm, not bad. Yeah, this one is a keeper. Improve what exactly? I don't know, man. Let's use some of these since I'm capped. No point being capped. Right, I love these two. They're great. Right, now I'm not capped. No cap. Alright. Take some apple dues for burble. Make some more creamberry fondue for me. What's up? Nothing. It's just this is the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean for that to upset you. No, I mean, it's just. I'm afraid that all other dishes won't compare. I'll take it you're not finishing this. Hey, hands off. Oh, you'll shit. have to get through me before you can touch my fondue. Mmm, sounds good. No, I am dead serious. <laughs> hands off. She's about to kill him over this fondue. Ready for the next chapter? Yes. Okay, where were we? The cows the threw the cows. two ladies into the void and took control of the spaceship. Oh, yeah. So? 
the cows keep on zooming through space aboard their ship and eventually stumble upon an inhabitable planet. They decide to stop there for... To build a civilization. Yes, exactly. However, none of the cows know how to build a civilization. Rather Understandable. than risk a mistake, they decide to launch a fact-finding mission. One of them is sent back into space in order to collect as much documentation as she can. Along the way, she encounters dozens of civilizations. Some of them ravaged by wars. Others living in harmony. Some of them sharing an asteroid. Others spread over several galaxies. Some of them inching close to catastrophic climate change. Hey, that's others me! Billions of years old. Once she'd gathered enough data, the explorer cow decided to come back to her home planet and share her findings. But space time does stretch. And what it took to travel through space long exceeded the cow's threshold. On the home planet, all of her sisters died waiting for her. No! Framed, our explorer realized that she was the last remaining survivor of her species. Not to have traveled in vain, and in order to preserve the legacy of the ultra cows, the explorer decided to compile all of her knowledge. She recorded it all and placed it in a capsule which she sent floating through space. Ten greatest civilizations in the universe. You won't believe who's number six. Boo! Uh, Fuck you. So who is number six? We're number six. The apiary? No, we are. Source. Are we a civilization? She said you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Some Bluton list, that is. We should at least be in the top three. Oh, that's so much EXP. Good Lord. All right. It's not quite time to be done. Smile. Ugh, we still don't know what was in the last cocoon that fell out of the sky. This is bothering you, isn't it? Uh, yes. Brr. Hey, pizza. I'm gonna go explore down here. Before I go where it wants me to. I'll never go where you want me to. Well, not never. We almost missed this one. Woo 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 woo. Hey there, big boy. On your mark. Now. I should hit, right? Oh, he didn't stun himself. Oh, he did stun himself. Just kidding. This one's ready. Yep. One more target left. They're up to something. Boom. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. Keep them coming. On your mark. Go, go, go! Come on, get him before he attacks. Yeah, let's go! You know what to do. Yep. There you go. The end. Here we go. More rest. Cream berries. Oh, yeah, Are seeds. Okay? Yeah. Why? Because eight to seven. I hate you. <laughs> they can smell the copium. for life <laughs> no way is 
the hell are these trees? They look weird. Rubits? Dead Rubits. Voila! voila. here but I'm sorry I missed it <laughs> same here these hornets are all busted up do you think those were ours I mean they were meant for us in all likelihood yes this happened recently I don't like it that means there is somebody or something on source powerful enough to crush an entire platoon of hornets besides us you mean Yes, besides us. Look, I think I found a clue into our mysterious Hornet Smasher's identity. What is it? An antler. Mm. At least that's what it looks like. So, what does it tell us about the critter we're dealing with? I would say... Tall, it's the it's that boss from Valheim. Legs, the first boss. Wings, oh, never mind. None of it has wings. Kind of an angry look on its face. You got all that from just this antler? No, it's right there. Oh. Oh God. He must think that we're hornets too. Understandable. We're tiny. Two eyes. That's a scary-looking boy. We're pretty blue and alike from his point of view. Don't be rude. Ready when you are. All set. They aren't usually that. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. You like that? He buffs up the little guys. On your mark. Now. Are you okay? Having a little downtime? It gets oh, I like go too early. Ready. I had him stunned. Ow. That's not very nice. On your mark. Go go. Why does he like squeak? Ready when you are. Ready. Oh, that's some damage. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! You like that? No way. Ready when you are. All set. Quick, before he stands back up. Ready now. Oh, nice. All right, get him out of here. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, Boom, baby. Dodge this one too soon. Why did it cancel the pacify? Damn, eat it. Oh, the eight to seven is because they're doing a competition of who can grab the most seeds. So every time I pick up a seed, they talk about it. Oh, he's cool like looking. You're feeling better. You see, we're the nice guys, but you can definitely carry on beating up these hornets. No problem. Do you think we can put his antler back on? He's looking a bit silly right now. <laughs> I guess so. Bo Bodigado's antlers. Perfect. You, you want these back? Can you tell him to stop moving for a bit? I don't speak his language any more than you do. <sighs> well, that's not staying. Maybe we could weld it on. It's bone. It won't melt. I know that. But maybe we could make a backing ring around it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm good at fixing equipment, not fixing fractures. I guess you'll have to stay like this for a while, big guy. What do you mean, a while? I mean, until his new antlers grow. What, what the what? <laughs> new antlers. Well, ungulates shed antlers what, and grow what, new the what? ones every year, usually. Now, I'm not sure how the annual cycle works here on Source, but it can't be that different. 
Could have told me earlier. You didn't know? Why do you think I was trying to put this one back on? Well, you said he looked silly. Okay, whatever. I'm keeping the antler for my troubles. What are you gonna do with it? You'll see. Uh-oh. He does look kind of silly, but he's cool. How concerned should he be? Making headway. Oh, yeah. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. Not too many flow threads around here. Obviously. Seems like these critters start munching on the flow right as it comes out of the ground. Let's yeah, what's the deal with this guys? Island. Look at this guy, showing off with his belly full of flow. Yeah, feels like we should just squeeze him like a plump fruit. Ew. Hmm, that's actually a decent idea. What? I have a plan. Follow me. I'm... I'm concerned, but okay. Also. Oh, I can toss? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You were supposed to land on top of him. You were supposed to throw me onto him. Okay, no big deal. We'll try again. If at first you don't I didn't know what it was going to do. I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh my god. That was amazing. Yeah, ye wait, come on, buddy. Anytime. Ready when you are. Go, go, go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so, you don't want to share your flow, eh? Huh? A flow seed? What is this? I don't know. A kind of transparent seed? Looks like there's flow trapped inside of it. What should we do? Open it? We should probably try to pick up these crystals. Nothing's happening. Should we glide, maybe? Crystals. Yes! Perfect! Let's keep this going. Oh, we're leaving a trail. Yes! Our very own flow thread! Oh, Can shit! Are starting to grow on me. Interesting. I wonder what I can do with that. Now I'm hungry. Holy know, shit, you go right? fast on these ones. Ready? Now. Speedy time. When you use the flow seeds, you can make your own. Oh, and now I have, like, super flow for a while. Ludicrous speed. Oh, more seeds. Pow, pow, pow. Match seed. May the best man win. The best woman. Is that it? Is that this island? No. There's a couple more over here. Yeah, yeet! You know, you it's ha it's hashtag relationship goals. You can just throw your significant oh, other. Done. All right. Easy, nice. The map is quite happy now. I do not uh, 
throw my wife. No, we haven't reached that stage yet. We've circled back. I, I, I don't know if that's the mark of a healthy marriage or not. Boo. But we have not Stop thrown it. each other. Scaring them. We're speeding toward them, and you think my boo is the scary part? Boo. Wait, I need a flow thread over here to go that way. Oh hell, it's almost time to be done. I feel like I'm close-ish to the end. Like I probably have half a stream left of this game. If I had to wager. Thread can go. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> Lude! I never showed this loading screen on the first day, and today it's shown it a lot. It's like wholesome lewd, though. Hey, Kata. Can I throw you? Ah, this is where we uh, were earlier. Uh, at some like a drone thing with magic inside of it. Only if I don't miss. Because uh, I. No. <laughs> Damn it! She won't let me throw her. Unfortunate. True. It's okay. We have we have years to the wind is picking up. Figure is out a profound metaphor about our current situation. Figuring out how we want to throw. Just an observation. Just an observation. If we have a kid eventually, can I throw them? Another one. Okay, that works. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw them into traffic. You don't know that. Ew. I don't want to throw them onto a couch if they're gonna shit on it. Bye. 